sunshines. Okay, so you guys already know the books that I've gotten from the library and the books that I'm working on from there, but I did just sort of accidentally on purpose buy a bunch of books too. You guys all know my love for library books and the library has no bounds, but I do also enjoy adding books to my collection. And so today I'm going to share with you guys my most recent book haul of the purchase variety as well as an updated July TBR. Okay, so the very first book that I'm going to show you guys, I actually picked up last week at Half Price Books when I was there dropping off a few books, and it is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I have heard so many good things about this book, mostly that you should not know anything about this book before you start reading it because it's that sort of a surprise, suspense, exciting unknown. The booktube community is just exploding about this book. I'm really excited to try this book out and add my two cents to the conversation that is already happening online about it. The next book I purchased I also actually got at Half Price Book about a week ago and it is The Selection by Kira Cass. I finished this book in a few days and I am hooked, so hooked, that today I finally went out and I was able to pick up The Elite and The One, which are the final two books in the Selection series by Kira Cass. I really enjoy hardcover books, but they're usually so expensive, but I let myself splurge on the hardcover version of The One because it's sort of the only version that's out of the book right now. The covers are gorgeous. I just love the covers. I'm really, really, really excited to finish this series and I have to read them like yesterday. I've been way too distracted thinking about those books that I couldn't even focus on any of the other books on my list or any of the other books that I've even started. So I had to go buy them. The next book I bought because I fell in love with it when I read it, and that is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin O'Leary Sinez. I did a short review of it in my last wrap up video, and I loved it so, so much that I had to go out and buy it. This book is a very special book, and it's just one that I knew that I had to own after I finished it, and so I'm glad that I finally found it. The next two books I actually got as gifts for Emily, so she'll know that they're hers by the time this video comes out, but the first one is The Falconer by Elizabeth May. This book I just saw reviewed today, actually, well, the day that I bought the book and I'm filming this video, I saw this book recommended, and it sounded a lot like something that Emily would read, but also that something that Emily would write, and so I got it for her so that she could just check it out, and I'll probably end up reading it as well, but after I get through a bunch of my other books. It's essentially about this girl, her name is Elena, she's 18 years old, and she apparently is a warrior and a fighter against these rare type of fairies that kill humans. And I found that concept to be really interesting, and I'm excited to give this a read, but of course, since I got it for Emily, I'm going to let her read it first. Hopefully she'll like it. I'll let you guys know. This next book I also got for Emily. Of course, I will end up reading it eventually. Emily has mentioned how interested she is in starting this series. So I picked up The City of Bones, the first book in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare, and I'm pretty sure that she's gonna love it. I hope she's gonna love it. It's a really big, thick read, but we have a friend, Joss, who is obsessed with these books, and ever since she just nonstop has been talking about them, Emily has been talking about how she's wanted to read it. So I thought that I would get her started by getting her the first book, and hopefully, she enjoys it and then she can let me know so that I can read it if I want to as well, which I probably will down the road. But the last book that I picked up, I don't know a ton about. I do know that it's not the typical book that I would probably ever read, but a lot of people who have said that it's not a book that they would typically read have said that they enjoyed it. It is a book in the horror genre and it is The Merciless by Danielle Vega. Um, it's a very cryptic book. The cover is very plain. On the back, all it says is, Forgive us, Father, for we have sinned. On the inside, it says it's for mature audiences only. It has something to do with this girl getting involved with the wrong crowd at school and like an exorcism. My friend Christina said that this is next on her TBR list and so I thought I would pick it up. I'm thankful that I'll get to read this book along with somebody because honestly I've wanted to but I'm terrified to read it at the same time. Like I'm actually a little bit scared. Okay, so that is my July book purchase haul. I'm really glad that I ended up having a gift card because that really came in handy for paying for these books because there were a lot of them and it was a little bit pricey but the gift card covered almost all of it so whew. I love guilt-free splurges. Stay tuned for reviews on a lot of these books. I 
Hope that you guys have maybe read some of these books. If you have, leave a comment down below letting me know which out of this haul was your favorite book and which ones you're enjoying the most or which ones you really, really want to read. I'm looking forward to reading all of them and I'll have to make sure to space them out with other library books that I have on hold that I also need to read before they're due because those ones are actually due and now I own all of these lovely books so yeah thank you guys so much for watching please let me know if you would like to see a review of any of these books and if so which ones down in the comment down below hopefully you're enjoying your lovely days and I will talk to you again soon bye